<laughs> Good evening, and welcome to Queensboro College and our annual honors convocation. Um, can you hear me, everybody? Can you hear me? Yeah, I think you can hear me now. I'm Dr. Anthony DeLuca, Acting Assistant Dean for Academic Affairs, and it is my pleasure and honor to serve as Master of Ceremonies this evening as we honor our students for their wonderful academic achievements. Uh, to begin, I invite you to stand and join in the singing of our national anthem, led by vocalist Kerry Blinder, Thank you, Kerry. Thank you very much. Please allow me to introduce the college administrators, faculty, and sponsors who are with us on stage for tonight's awards event. Please hold your applause until everyone has been introduced. Uh, those being introduced will stand briefly when their name is called. Eduardo Marti. President of Queensborough Community College. <laughs> okay, that's the one time you can applaud. Before the, uh, <laughs> uh, Dan L. King, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Diane Call, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Ellen Hardigan, Vice President for Student Affairs. Karen Steele, Dean for Academic Affairs. Paul Jean-Pierre, Associate Dean for Student Affairs. William Faulkner, Assistant Dean for Business and Finance. Michelle Cuomo, Faculty Leadership Fellow in the Office of Academic Affairs. <laughs> ben Ami Fryer, Acting Director, Services for Students with Disabilities. Jean Galvin, head librarian. Stuart Asser, chairperson, Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering Technology. Anne-Marie Bourbon, chairperson, Foreign Languages and Literatures Department. Pellegrino Manfra, associate professor, Social Sciences Department. Jonas Fallick, Chairperson, Business Department. Melvin Gorlick, Chairperson, Biological Sciences and Geology Department. Susan Jakobowitz, Assistant Professor of English. Aaron Crack, Chairperson, Health, Physical Education and Dance Department. <laughs> David Lieberman, 
Chairperson, Physics Department. <laughs> Joseph Nagler, Chairperson, Music Department. <laughs> Holly O'Donnell, Instructor, Basic Educational Skills Department. <laughs> Paris Savonos, Chair, Chemistry Department. <laughs> James Valentino, Chairperson, Mechanical Engineering, Technology, and Design Drafting Department. Emily Tai, Professor, <laughs> History Department. Clara Weingert, Professor, Mathematics and Computer Science Department. Maureen Wallace, Chairperson, Nursing Department. Lisa Yonker, <laughs> Assistant. Assistant Professor of Speech Communication and Theater Arts. Maybe I should say that name again. <laughs> Christine Hader, President of the Queens County Chapter of the International Association of Administrative Professionals. Cheryl B. Levine, President of the Alumni Association. Ermgard Carl. Sponsor of the Dr. Ermgard F. Carl Excellence Award in Introductory College Chemistry. And Emil Singer, sponsor of the Teresa Singer Award. Okay. Let's have a round of applause for all of our faculty and staff and administrators here. It is now my pleasure and distinct honor to invite to the podium for the purpose of making welcome remarks, the president of Queensborough Community College, Dr. Eduardo Marti. Thank you very much. And welcome to this wonderful ceremony. Can you hear me back, hear me back there? Tonight is a night of celebration. It's a night of celebrating the hard work, the sleepless nights, the anxiety before an exam, the times when you thought it was impossible to complete the course of study that you engaged in, the times that you thought that you had made the wrong decision by first coming to college, second taking the particular course of study that you're taking. Tonight is a time of celebrating the time that you're gonna have with your loved ones after graduation. And for those of you who are not graduating, for the time that you will have celebrating your good grades up to now so that you can then celebrate your graduation. So the spirit that started here with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of yelling should continue. This is a night for celebration. Do not be intimidated by the titles of the people who are in the front of the audience or by the gowns that we're wearing or by the lofty speeches that we're making. Tonight is a night to celebrate. Tonight is a night to say, I have made something out of my life. I have proven to the faculty of this college, I have proven to the people around me that I can do it and I can do it well. So tonight is a night for celebration. But if you allow me to muse with you for a little while, and I promise you it's going to be less than two hours, <laughs> let me tell you a little bit about the celebration. Because what you have gotten out of the experience at this college is something that is absolutely precious. It is a door that opens up horizons, not to a better job. There are a lot of people who make a lot of money that don't have to go to college. That's not 
It's not about the job. It's about the human condition. It's about the ability to understand yourself better, the ability to understand the people around you better, and the ability to understand the differences and to celebrate the diversity of this wonderful world that we live in. It is about understanding the ability to communicate your thoughts clearly. It is about understanding the historical context of your lives. It is about understanding the vicissitudes that, went, that the people who were enslaved in this country went through, or the people who were subjects to the, of the Holocaust in World War II went through. It's the, the ability to understand. It is about the ability to think critically and to be able to put two and two together and not make it five. And I don't mean math. I mean about life. I mean about who you are. It's about the ability to read a newspaper and not be swayed by the demagoguery that has swept this country for the last umpteen years. It is about the ability to understand the value of the most powerful weapon that we have in this country. And that is what you're gonna be doing in November when you pull that lever intelligently, intelligently, rather than just following along like a herd of sheep. Sheep. All right. What you have done here is you have been selfish about yourself. You have been, yes, forced many times. Many times that homework was just too much and the work was just a pain. But little by little, your mind was being molded and your mind was opening up like a flower. And now you have it in your hands. You have in your hands the tools to be able to understand yourself, to understand your fellow human being, and to be a productive member of our society. That's what it's all about. It's really not about the job. The job is not bad. The money's not bad. But what it's really about is the ability to live your life like a productive human being that you are. I congratulate you again in this night of celebration. I congratulate you for taking the step to go forward. And I will admonish all of you, whether you are staying at the college or you're graduating on Friday, keep going. You have just begun to open that flower. You need a whole garden. Life is a continuum of education. Life is something that, education is something that never, ever ends. And the older you get, and the wiser you get, and the more information you have, believe you me, as an old man I can tell you that, the more you will enjoy life. So congratulations to all of you, and please, please celebrate. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Marti. We will now move ahead with, with conferring the departmental and special individual honors. I call the audience's attention to the fact that detailed descriptions of the awards being presented this evening are printed in your program. I invite the award recipients to come forward to receive their awards and ask that they follow the directions of the ushers in approaching and exiting the stage and I also invite Professor Michelle Cuomo, Faculty Leadership Fellow in Academic Affairs, to the podium for the purpose of presenting the candidates and their achievements. Thank you, Dr. DeLuca. Good evening. The first group of students we will call up tonight all have the distinction of having received more than one award, in some cases in more than one discipline. 
Jung Hoon Ham is receiving five awards this evening. Dr. Paris Sforonos, Chair of Chemistry, is presenting Jong Hoon with the Paris Sforonos Scholarship in Chemistry, the Edward Sarlo Excellence Award in Organic Chemistry, and the Walter Zozulin Memorial Award, the Bell Vader Mancott Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research in Chemistry, and the Rose Mancott Award for the highest GPA in Chemistry One and Two. Xing Li is the recipient of four awards. Three awards are being presented by Dr. Savoronos to Xing Li. The Edward Sarlo Excellence Award in Organic Chemistry, the Jamie Lynn Lee Rizzo Award in Chemistry, and the Bell Vader Mancott Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research. Dr. Pellegrino Manfra, Associate Professor of Social Sciences, is presenting Xing Li with the Herman and Emma Brandt Memorial Scholarship in Social Sciences. Emily Hughes is receiving four awards. Dr. Melvin Gorelick, Chair of Biological Sciences and Geology, is presenting Emily with the Dr. Edith Lee and Herbert Schnall Endowed Scholarship. Dr. Svoronos is presenting Emily with the Bell Vader Mancott Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research and the Walter Zozulin Memorial Award. And Vice President of Student Affairs, Ellen Hardigan, is presenting Emily with the All USA Academic Team New York Region Place Award. I'd also like to mention that Dr. Sforonos is honoring Emily tonight for her membership in Lambda Sigma Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society. <laughs> Ariel Kaimoff is the recipient of three awards this evening. Professor Stuart Asser, Chair of Electrical and Computer Engineering Technology, is presenting Ariel with the Underwriter Lab Award, the New York State Engineering Technology Association Award, and Cheryl Levine, Class of 75 and President of the Alumni Association, is presenting the ECET Alumni Award. Jin is the recipient of three awards this evening. Dr. Anne-Marie Bourbon, Chair of Foreign Languages and Literatures, is presenting Anne Yu with the Excellence in Spanish Award, the Excellence in German Award, and the Excellence in Italian Award. Joseph Mamano is the recipient of three awards. Dr. Gorelick is presenting Joseph with the Excellence in Health Science Award, and Dr. Sforonos is presenting Joseph with the Bell Vader Mancott Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research and the Honors Scholar Certificate. Gerald Chong is receiving two awards. Dr. Jonas Fallick, Chair of Business, is presenting Gerald with the Michael Elliott Schwartz Memorial Award, and Ms. Levine is presenting the Alumni Business Award.
Chu Yu He is receiving two awards. Dr. Fallick is presenting Shu Yu He with the Dr. Sidney J. White Memorial Scholarship Award and the Academic Excellence in Business Administration Award. Congratulations. Theo Harris Moshos is receiving three awards. Dr. Fallick is presenting Theo Harris with the Eva Bobro Incentive Award for Business Administration. Vice President Hardigan is presenting Theo Harris with the All USA Academic Team New York Region Th Third Place Award. And Dr. Emily Tai, Professor of History, and advisor for Lambda Sigma Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society is honoring Theo Harris for his participation. <laughs> Theo Harris cannot be with us tonight. <laughs> Phoebus Widyaha is receiving two awards. The CUNY Student Leadership Award for students who have displayed outstanding leadership within the college community in activities that are academic and service related, and it is presented by Vice President Hardigan, and an Honors Scholar Certificate presented by Dr. Sforonos. Angela Yuseshi is receiving two awards. The Cade Architecture Award for Outstanding Achievement in Architectural Design is presented by Dr. James Valentino, Chair of Mechanical Engineering Technology, and the Honors Scholar Certificate is presented by Dr. Paris Svoronos. Varendra Bunsi is receiving two awards. Professor Stuart Asser, Chairperson of Electronical Engineering and Computer Technology, is presenting Varendra with the Joseph B. Adela Memorial Award and the Myra Brumnach Memorial Award. Patricia Poe is receiving two awards. Dr. Susan Jakobowitz, Assistant Professor of English, is presenting Patricia with the Reginald and Eileen Kites Award. And we are delighted to have Emile Singer, Class of 71, present Patricia with the Teresa Singer Award. The Teresa B. Singer Award is a scholarship endowed by her son, Emile, in memory of his mother, and is directed toward a non-traditional Queensboro student who has returned to college and is successfully continuing toward a baccalaureate degree in liberal arts. Hande Dink is receiving two awards. Dr. Jakobowitz is presenting Hande with the Dr. Arnold Azarelski Award for Academic Excellence by an Evening Student, and Dr. Sforonis is presenting Hande with the Honors Scholar Certificate. Dr. Maureen Wallace, Chair of the Nursing Part Department, and Cheryl Levine, President of the Alumni Association, are making the next set of presentations to nursing students who are receiving two awards. Joanne Alvarez is the recipient of the Student Nurses Association Award for Spring 2008 and the James F. Sylvester Memorial Scholarship for Spring 2008 for Day Students presented by Dr. Wallace. Maria de Silva Alves is the recipient of the Alumni Humanity Award Spring 2008 for Evening Students, presented by Ms. Levine, and the Roseanne Dyshirt Memorial Award Spring 2008 for Evening Students, presented by Dr. Wallace. Dorothea G. Evans is the recipient of the Dorothy Eastman, Eastham Awards for Spring 2008 and the Irene M. Baptista Award for Spring 2008, presented by Dr. Wallace. <laughs> 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 
Sally Rivera is the recipient of the Mary Ellen Matthews Memorial Nursing Scholarship for Evening Students and the David F. Kuntz Memorial Award, Spring 2008. <laughs> Assistant Professor Lisa Yonker of Speech Communication and Theater Arts is making the next set of presentations for theater arts students who are receiving two awards. Ian Gonzalez is the recipient of the Beverly Lockwood Award for Excellence and Leadership in Theater Arts, as well as the Department Award for Outstanding Achievement in Acting. Edgar Moore, Jr is the recipient of the Golden Wrench Award and the Chairman's Award for Outstanding Achievement, ex Outstanding Scholastic Excellence in the Department. Gilbert Joel Ortiz is the recipient of the Golden Wrench Award and the Department Award for Outstanding Achievement in Stagecraft. Andrea Lopez is the recipient of the Golden Wrench Award and the Department Award for Outstanding Achievement in Stage Design. <laughs> Rachel C. Siegel is the recipient of two awards. Dr. Tai is presenting Rachel with the John Manigault Memorial Award and the A. Joseph Geist Award. Nadia Aboli is receiving two awards. Dr. Manfra is presenting Nadia with the Herman and Emma Brandt Memorial Scholarship, and Dr. Sforonos is presenting her with an Honors Scholar Certificate. Veronica Nunez Barrett is the recipient of the Queensboro Community College Women's Club Student Awards for Outstanding Leadership and Service to the College Community to current students who have demonstrated outstanding leadership and service to the college community. Tonight, Veronica is also receiving her pin for her role as president of the Student Association. Congratulations to all the students who received more than one award. <laughs> ben Ami Fryer, Director of Services for Students with Disabilities, is presenting the next award to Amir Shaki, being recognized for persistence and outstanding self-advocacy. Congratulations. <laughs> Diana Ramirez is the recipient of the Basic Skills Achievement Award, which is being presented to her by Ms. Holly O'Donnell, instructor of basic educational skills. The Basic Skills Achievement Award was established to honor a student who achieves academic distinction after beginning his or her career with courses offered by the Basic Skills Department. The Department of Biological Sciences and Ge Geology Awards are being presented by Dr. Gorelick. Asma Ketani is the recipient of the Award for Excellence in the Biological Sciences. Monica Ben Patel and Christina Velasco are both recipients for excellence in the Medical Office Assistant Certificate Program. <laughs> the Department of Business Awards are being presented by Dr. Fallick. Rachel Lee is the recipient of the Award for Academic Excellence in Accounting. 
Delka Rahimi is the recipient of the award for academic excellence in office administration and technology. Oku Okoko is the recipient of the award for academic excellence in computer information systems. And I also want to congratulate Oku. He was just named an honors scholar, so he too has uh, received two awards this evening. Aaron Hillel is the recipient of the award for academic excellence in management. The Eva Bobro Incentive Award is an award for excellence by graduates of the Associate in Applied Science program in business subjects in the evening session. This year, Yasmin Junanda is the recipient in accounting. Grace Nwoki is the recipient in management. And Deland Roger is the recipient in computer information systems. Priscilla Ann Simpson is the recipient of the New York State Society of Certified Public Accountants Certificate. Jackie Lee is the recipient of the Helen Crisman Memorial Award. Haiyan Cindy Ma is the recipient of the Doris Katz Memorial Scholarship Award. Clara Kovacs is the recipient of the Roberta Rosenbaum Memorial Scholarship Award to an outstanding and persevering woman student in a business program who has been an active member of the community. Angelia Keonang is the recipient of the Marion Michelou Certificate Award. Yoon Soo Kim is the recipient of the Henry Winkler Certificate Award. Malgorzata Dryglack is the recipient of the Queens County Chapter International Association of Administrative Professionals Award to an outstanding business student in the Office Administration and Technology Program. Christine Hader, the organization's president, is presenting Malgorzata the award. Our alumna, Lorraine Enginito, endorsed the creation of this award for Queensboro. The Department of Chemistry Awards will be presented by Dr. Sforonos. Eva Santos Tejada is the recipient of the Dr. Ermgard F. Carl Excellence Award in Introductory College Chemistry. While Ava's coming to the stage, I'd like to recognize Dr. Carl. Thank you, Dr. Carl. Mayung Yoon Kim is the recipient of the Anatole Mancott Scholarship. Gurpreet Kaur and Courtney Allison are the recipients of the Professor Frank S. Rudo Award for Excellence in Chemistry and the Environment. The recipients of the Belvedere Mancott Award for Excellence in Undergraduate Research are Sean Bruni, Carolina Chavez, Michelle Cho, Elizabeth Cipriana, Fran de Luz Cuevas, Yin Wan Kui, Jasmine Garduno, Junior Gonzalez, Jin He Guan, Meninder Kaur, Yumi Kim, Aisha Munawar, Tayaba Nasar, and Kita Parik, Crystal S. Park, Alexandru Pestesi, and Amir Pietri.
The Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering Technology Awards are being presented by Professor Asser. Bin Saud Baksh is a recipient of the Electrical and Computer Engineering Technology Department Award. <laughs> Sufian Bentak is the recipient of the Professor Gabriel Kosuru Award in recognition of excellence in the ETCT curricula. <laughs> Valentino Cirrus is a recipient of the Martin J. Horowitz Memorial Award in recognition of academic excellence and service to the department. <laughs> Gladys Yuka is the recipient of the Professor Louis Nischelsky Award in recognition of excellence in the ETCT, telecommunications technology, or new media curricula. Sung Ji Kim and Edmund Williams are the recipient of the Pasquale Savarez Award in recognition of excellence in the area of ET. <laughs> Ridulendra Pratap Singh is the recipient of the Dominic Stenko Memorial Award. The Department of English Awards are being presented by Dr. Jacobowitz. Sherry Sirima is the recipient of the Robert D. Crozier Memorial Award. <laughs> Nominees must be liberal arts majors and have completed English 101 and 102. The award is given for outstanding achievement in English. Okay. She's not here. Narima. Prashad is the recipient of the Reginald and Eileen Kites Award for Outstanding Achievement in Literature and Writing. Nominees must be education majors and have completed English 101 and 102. The Juan Otero Memorial Award was established by Dr. Alan Lanner in honor of his first homebound student, Juan Otero, who died of a brain tumor. It is an award for English 101 students and it is determined by written work. To receive it, Kiran Wahid wrote Self Narrative. Billy Enohope wrote Ghetto Home World. Reginald Pierre wrote Hip Hop, The Beginning. Haihu Eva Koos wrote Traditional Chinese in Taiwan. Beata Zygmunt and Andrea Dorotkin are the recipients of the Carolyn B. Raphael Award. Established by Professor Carolyn Raphael, this award recognizes academic excellence and achievement in students for whom English was a second language and who began studies at Queensborough by taking a basic skills language class. Beata, Beata and Andre Dorotkin. <laughs> Josina Miley and Maurice Anderson are the recipients of the Smithline Truffman Award for Outstanding Achievement in Literature and Writing. <laughs> Josina wrote, Define This, Persecute. And Maurice Anderson wrote, Saturday, Sunday. Vicky Suhu and Arthur Maksumov are the recipients of the Harold Stollerman Award for Excellence in English. Nominees must have completed English 101 and 102. Vicky or Arthur? Peter Blondi is the recipient of the Dr. Arnold Azrelski Award for Academic Excellence by an Evening Student. <laughs> the Hetty Jacobowitz Memorial Award for Outstanding Journalism or Nonfiction Award was established by family and friends of Hetty Jacobowitz, who passed away in 2004. She was a gifted writer and announcer who worked in public radio in San Francisco and whose sister is the presenter, Dr. Jacobowitz. This award is for students who have completed English 101 and 102. Journalism students, creative writers, and advanced expository writing students are all eligible. The award is determined by the written work. Brianne Hansen wrote, Americans Crave Resolution. Lyudmila Izakarova wrote June 13, 1988. Jacqueline York wrote The Israeli-Palestinian Conflict. 
Rossi Sandoval wrote American Beauty. <laughs> Joseph Mazel and Teresa Wisaki are the recipients for the Tony Pippolo Award. This award established by Professor Anthony Pippolo is for outstanding achievement in film and literature. Joseph, Teresa, thank you. The Department of Foreign Languages and Literature's award are being presented by Dr. Bourbon. John Draves is the recipient of the award for excellence in German. Champion Nichols is the recipient of the award for excellence in Spanish. Daniel Adler is the recipient of the Robert Davis Memorial Award for Excellence in French. Jose Nieto is the recipient of the Lorenzo Giorgio Memorial Award for Excellence in Italian. Jose? The Department of Health, Physical Education, and Dance Awards are being presented by Dr. Aaron Crack, Chair of the Department. Yunnan Guo, Alex Lugo, and Dane Walton are the recipients of the Scholar Athlete Awards for Outstanding GPA. The Outstanding Student Athlete Awards are for students who demonstrate high levels of sportsmanship. Taniqua Tibiri is the Outstanding Female Athlete. And Luis Herrera is the Outstanding Male Athlete. David Lee is the recipient of the Steve Weingart Scholar Athlete Award to an Outstanding Student Athlete with a 3.0 GPA or better who demonstrates leadership and character. Iana Johnson is the recipient of the RF Kennedy Award to an Outstanding Athlete who has attained recognition in local, regional, and national organizations, who has been selected to all conferences and are all regional teams, and displays high level of sportsmanship on and off the field or court. John Palomaria is the recipient of the Evelyn Carlin Award to a student dancer returning to the dance workshop who demonstrates discipline, talent, and the understanding of dance as a performing art. Debbie Jean Lamont is the recipient of the Muriel Mannings Award, presented to a dancer with great potential and with a strong belief that dance can be a force for strengthening cultural understanding in the world. Sherry Ann King is the recipient of the Mary Jean Arario Award, which is given to a woman who has excelled in athletics and whose qualities of character and leadership exemplifies the highest ideals of sports. Yadira Bernal is the recipient of the Frank Egan Service Leadership Participation Award, given to the student who has excelled in providing service to the department and has exhibited a high level of leadership while a member of a team. Charlene Saruna is the recipient of the Carol J. Bozick Sportsmanship and Humanitarian Award. A student will receive this honor only when these unique qualities are exemplified. A female student has completed 24 credits with 2.0 GPA. The student must have demonstrated an exceptional degree of sportsmanship during her participation on a team and recognized by her peers, coaches, and or family, and possessed the qualities of a humanitarian, including a deep caring for others and a commitment to society. <laughs> the Department of History Awards are being presented by Dr. Tai. Diana C and Anmit Preet K. Mazuta are the recipients of the A. Joseph Geist Award. Leela Yang is the recipient of the Fred Greenbaum Award. Christine Fierro Gladwin is the Jake Jagoda Memorial Award recipient. 
Septa Leveheim is the Sheila S. Polishuk Award recipient. Come in. The Department, Department of Mathematics and Computer Science Awards are being presented by Dr. Clara Weingart, professor of the department. Keo Hung Lin is a recipient of the Math and Computer Science Award, an award which is presented to a male or female student with an outstanding performance in a credit-bearing course. <laughs> Jin S. Bacalis is the recipient of the Sondra Farber Memorial Award, an award which is presented to a female student who has shown an outstanding performance in any credit-bearing mathematics course as high level as possible. Yui Sang Singh is the recipient of the Sydney Arak Memorial Award, an award which is presented to a graduating student of foreign birth with an outstanding performance in mathematics and who has completed, at a minimum, the calculus sequence of three courses. The Bert, excuse me, Samantha Aiello is the recipient of the Barnes Award, a cash award which is presented to an outstanding student who has distinguished himself or herself of the math club, math team, or as a math tutor. The, departmental of the Department of Mechanical Engineering, is there another, are there more awards? Ms. Yezi Lee is the recipient of the Burt Kleinman Award, a cash award which is presented to an outstanding student who showed achievement as a participant on the math team or problem of the week contest or as a participant in extracurricular activities. The Department of Mechanical Engineering, Technology, and Design Drafting Awards are being presented by Dr. James Valentino, Chair of the Department. Khadija Bhatti is the recipient of the Clive M. Hart Award for Excellence in Mechanical Engineering Technology. <laughs> Need Godinho is the recipient of the Harold Levinson Award for Excellence in Design Drafting. The Department of Music Awards are being presented by Dr. Joseph Nagler, Chair of the Department. Felicia Collum, Thomas Henrati, Elliot Lillian are awarded the Matthew Barbier Memorial Scholarship for their academic achievements in music performance. Dionald Lorenzo and Joseph Rivera are awarded the Music Electronic Technology Award for their scholarship in music production and engineering. Peter Thomas and Jose Frias are awarded the Kurzweil Memorial Scholarship for Outstanding Musicianship in Music Recording and Production. Hashim Shariaf and Kai Chen Li are awarded the Tatiana Schwarzblatt Memorial Scholarship for an outstanding dedication to the performance of live music. The Department of Nursing Awards are being presented by Dr. Wallace. Rena Barak is the fall recipient of the Nursing Department Award, and Dina Sarat is the spring re recipient of the Nursing Department Award.
Carlos Quies is the recipient of the Nursing Associates Scholarship. Janelle Miles is the recipient of the Eberlin Lenahan Nursing Award. Jeral Yabat is the full recipient of the Eva Bobro Nursing Award in memory of, of Abdul Bowden. And Devin Skinner is the spring recipient of the award. Barbara Goldstein is the fall recipient of the Dorothy Eastham Memorial Award. And Aliva Jenkins is the spring recipient of the award. Cheryl Levine will present the Alumni Nursing Awards. Leah Ma Kreis is the fall recipient of the Alumni Association Ruth Blumenthal Awards for Outstanding Performance in Clinical Areas. Angela Kaimchayev is the Spring Day recipient of that award. <laughs> Rosalind Powell is the Spring Evening recipient of the award. Doris Acero is the fall recipient of the Alumni Association Bernadette Robo Award. <laughs> Catherine Quinn is the spring day recipient of that award. And Samantha Sioko is the spring evening recipient of the award. <laughs> Doris Staunton is the fall recipient of the Alumni Humanity Award. And Herlina Oriena Cagneso is the spring day recipient. Dr. Wallace will present the remaining nursing awards. Ala Yusupova is the spring recipient of the David F. Kuntz Memorial Award. Andrea Goldstein Alby is the recipient of the Michael Mullen Award. The award has been established by Teresa Mullen, 1987, in loving memory of her son Michael Dermot Mullen, class of 92. Michael Dermott Mullen, a graduate of Queensboro's nursing program and a New York City firefighter, fighter, died heroically in the line of duty on September 11, 2001. Mur Murrieta Persaud is the fall recipient of the Helen G. Muller Memorial Award. Angela Foster is the Spring Day recipient of the award, and Miladenka mustak Razov is the Spring Evening recipient of the award. <laughs> Jillian Ferrer is the Fall recipient of the Student Nurses Association Award. Yun He Lee is the Fall recipient of the Roseanne Dyshirt Memorial Award and Grace Joyner is the Spring Day recipient. Marie Thomas is the Spring Day recipient of the Sylvia Weinstock Stitzel Endowed Scholarship, and Nadine Blair is the Spring Evening recipient of the scholarship. Joanne Alvarez is the Spring Day recipient of the James F. Sylvester Memorial Scholarship, and Leonora Legal is the Spring Evening recipient of the scholarship. Hannah Choi is the Day recipient of the Mary Ellen Matthews Memorial Nursing Scholarship. The Department of Physics Awards are being presented by Dr. David Lieberman, Chair of the Department. The Harry Schneider Awards in Physics go to Carlos Sanchez Martin. He's the recipient for excellence in laser and fiber optics technology. And Can Chen is the recipient for excellence in astronomy. The Department of Social Sciences Awards are being presented by Dr. Pellegrino Manfra. Trishwanti Singh is the recipient of the Naftali Levi Memorial Scholarship Award. Jennifer Severin is the recipient of the Julia Silvers Scholarship Award. The Dr. Julia Silvers Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a female minority student in the education program who displays academic excellence and is recommended by an education faculty member. 
Liang Shang is the recipient of the Mary M. McDougall Memorial Fund Award. Emile Singer will present the final Teresa P. Singer Award to Ms. Angela Agacella. The Teresa Singer Award is given to a returning education student at least 40 years of age with a GPA of 3.3 or higher. <laughs> The Department of Speech, Communication, and Theater Arts Award will be presented by Professor Yonker. Linda Snipes is the recipient of the Outstanding Departmental Service in Theater Arts Award. The Golden Wrench Awards are in recognition of individual achievement for technical work in department productions. The recipients are Olivia Alcamo, Julie Hahn, Juliana Huang. Anthony Luna, Luna is the recipient of the Stage Manager's Award for Outstanding Achievement in Stage Management. Belinda Jamie is the recipient of the Departmental Honors for Outstanding Participation in Department Productions. Charles Murphy is the recipient of the Theater Arts Award for Outstanding Achievement in Department Productions. Cheryl Levine, president of the Alumni Association, will present the next awards. She is also representing the family of the Arthur Werner Award in the Music Department. Its recipient, Elias Alicia Harod, was unable to attend this evening. Errol Cielli is the recipient of the Eva Brobro Alumni Award to a graduating business student in an associate in applied science degree program. And David Mendoza is recipient of the Kupferberg Holocaust Resource Center Internship Award given to by the QCC Alumni Association in honor of Harriet Kupferberg to perpetually remember her generosity to the college and to continue her work of educating students about unbridled prejudice. Dr. Paul Jean-Pierre, Dean of Student Affairs, will present the next awards. Vanessa Sun Young Yao and Donald Pagano are the recip recipients of the Incentive Awards to students who are working parents and who have achieved academic excellence. Lace Payano is the recipient of the CUNY Student Leadership Award for students who have displayed outstanding leadership within the college community in activities that are academic and service related. <laughs> Vice President of Student Affairs Ellen Hardigan will present Harlenis Diaz with the Queensborough Community College Women's Club Student Award for Outstanding Leadership and Service to the College Community. The Honors Scholars Program recipients will be presented by Dr. Sferonis. Honors Scholars are recognized for having completed 12 Honors Credits and their degree requirements with at least a 3.4 GPA. We have uh, honored some of those students already. The following are the remaining candidates for the 2007-2008 academic year. Jin He Guan, Marie Pierre Payen, David Satnarine, and Farah Solon. Congratulations. The Federal Reserve Challenge Team will be recognized by Dr. Fallick. The recipients are Divya Aurora, Daniel Liu, John Provius, Arwan Reyes, Cavell Sukai, Chiedo Uzoigua, and Margaret Valencia. Please join me once again in congratulating all the students who received departmental and special awards.
Thank you, Professor Cuomo. I'm now pleased to introduce Vice President Dan King and Dean Karen Steele for the purpose of recognizing students who have been named to the Dean's List. The academic success that results in being named to the Dean's List for one or more semesters is a remarkable achievement. <coughs> Students who attain this recognition have succeeded in an array of courses and with a variety of professors. Their successes have transcended a preferred subject and have almost always included one or more disciplines that are less rather than more favorite. It is my distinct honor to participate in recognizing the Dean's List group. This year, we have begun a new tradition. As the Dean's List honorees entered the auditorium this evening, they were each presented with a distinctive lapel pin. Okay, if you got one of these, if you're on the Dean's List, you should get it if you didn't. Students, I invite each of you to wear this recognition pin frequently as a tangible recognition of your achievement, as a personal reminder to motivate you to continue your excellent work, and as a means of inspiring your colleague students to aspire to a similar level of achievement. With the Dean's List students from spring 2007 and fall 2007 semesters, please rise. And if you would remain standing for just a moment, please. Students, you have met a standard of excellence in your academic work that truly places you among a select group of undergraduate students nationwide. On behalf of the faculty of this college, I want to express our appreciation for your seriousness of study. You are the students who make teaching at Queensboro our joy. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please join with me once again in recognizing the achievement of these students. Please be seated. Thank you, Dr. King and Dr. Steele, for recognizing our Dean's List students. I am pleased to invite Dean Arthur Corradetti to the podium for the purpose of recognizing this year's initiates into honor societies and special recognition groups. Dr. Corradetti. Ladies and gentlemen, initiation into a recognized honor society or special recognition group is based on demonstrated and sustained achievement and represents the highest recognition available in many student specialty fields. It is my pleasure to recognize students who have been inducted into these various groups during the 2007-2008 academic year. As I call each of the honor societies and special recognition groups, I ask the student members to rise and remain standing until all of these special memberships have been announced, at which time we can all give our applause. Students who are named this year to who's who among students in American junior colleges, please rise. Students inducted this year into membership in the Beta Eta chapter of Alpha Sigma Lambda, the National Evening Honor Society, please rise. 
Students inducted into Psi Beta Honor Society for Psychology, please rise. Students inducted into Kappa Delta Pi Honor Society, please rise. Students inducted into the Chi Chapter of Alpha Beta Gamma National Business Society, please rise. Students inducted into Lambda Sigma Chapter of Phi Theta Kappa National Honor Society, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in recognizing the outstanding achievements of these students. Congratulations to all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Cordetti. Before this evening's program concludes, um, I'd like a, to give a round of applause for Ms. Carol Lamont, Ms. Olga Salamanca, Ms. Bertha Sektorian, and Professor Cuomo for helping to arrange this event. This is, this is a, um, a special honors, they're all special honors convocations. This one is um, a little bit extra special in the sense that this is the first time we've had, uh, we are all wearing our academic regalia. I think you, I think you noticed that. And that's, that's to show our regard, our high regard and respect for the intellectual achievements of all of the award winners this evening. I'd like to invite all of the award winners and their guests uh, to join us for a reception in the lobby of the Medical Arts Building. Um, at, but before we do that, I'd like to invite Ms. Uh, Linder back to the podium, uh, not back to the podium actually, that was a previous plan. I'd like to invite <laughs> Ms. Linder to sing the college's alma mater, after which the stage party will proceed from the auditorium. Um, Please rise for the singing of the school song and remain at your seats until the stage party has exited the auditorium. Thank you very much.